ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number six of the Custom Mario Mail-In Tournament. We've had some crazy races so far, so let's meet the first group and see if there's going to be any crazy ones in this one. Number 11, Chase Family, 83.99 grams. Number 2, Ryan Kelly, at 96.87 grams. Number 46, Ghost Rider Pink, at 35.7 grams. And number 56, Silent Johnny, 70.5 grams. I definitely recognize some of those names, and it looks like Ryan Kelly may have taken a page from Arlo, as they also have a character in a stretched out vehicle sitting towards the front, which I've been told may be a smart move in terms of weight distribution, because that could definitely help with overall speed and control. And it definitely seems to be working as Ryan Kelly is already out in front with a decent sized lead and some of the other racers are trying to catch him but so far unable to do so as Ryan Kelly goes down that last hill and they easily take the first win. 16.92, it definitely looked a little bit faster than that from my perspective but I, I can't question the timer. Is anyone else going to finish, though? Oh, yeah, here comes somebody. It looks like it's Ghost Rider Pink. And they barely get themselves across the line. So I think that will count. And it looks like everybody actually did finish. It just took Ghost Rider a little bit longer to get there. Not entirely sure where they lost so much speed, but... There they are. They tried to spin around and straighten themselves out going forward, but they ultimately finished backwards and with barely enough speed to make it happen. But so far, Ryan Kelly has the first win. Chase Family and Silent Johnny are hot on their tail. As we begin the second race, Ryan Kelly does have the initial lead. Sal and Johnny not too far behind, and neither is Ghost Rider. So as we get into the lane mergers, Brian Kelly does have a lead, but we do have a closer race this time around. Will it stay that way is the ultimate question. Well, Ryan Kelly does have the lead. Ghost Rider Pink is staying relatively close, but it's not close enough as Ryan Kelly once again finishes in first. And I was about to say Ghost Rider Pink finishes in second, but Silent Johnny comes out of nowhere. I think he did grab the second place position at the last possible moment. And look at the gap between the two initially. But because of that spin out, Silent Johnny was able to find an opportunity. And we will see in a moment if it was enough. And it looks like it was. Silent Johnny barely edged out Ghost Rider there. That is definitely a comeback if I've ever seen one. Into race number three, Ryan Kelly is trying to get as much of a lead as they can early on. Any lead you can get early will definitely help you later. But here come the other racers again and it looks like they might pass him. Silent Johnny is almost next to Ryan Kelly, but Ryan Kelly is able to maintain more speed and gets their lead back. So now no one is relatively close to them anymore. But Silent Johnny is trying to make something happen and it looks like they were going sideways entering that last turn. And Ryan Kelly will automatically move on to today's finals. And Silent Johnny has the best odds in joining them. And Ryan Kelly is definitely not necessarily putting up the best times, but relatively consistent with them. But the way their driver is positioned, it may help them out in some later races. And I'm not sure how the Ghost Rider is staying in that seat, but it seems to be working, whatever it is. And in this last race, it's actually Silent Johnny who takes an initial lead, but Ryan Kelly is trying to catch him now. It looks like he might have, 
But as I say that, Ryan Kelly suddenly loses so much speed, and Ghost Rider Pink now has a decent lead for side. Silent Johnny, now Silent Johnny's slowing down. Ghost Rider Pink suddenly has a lead. Will they be able to hold on to it, though? They are losing a bit of speed, and here comes Ryan Kelly trying to push him out of the way. But end up pushing him forward, and now Silent Johnny takes the final win there. And I think Ghost Rider Pink finished in second. Regardless, Ryan Kelly is not going to be undefeated. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But Silent Johnny is definitely moving on alongside Ryan Kelly. And Ghost Rider Pink put in a valiant effort in that last race, even though they knew they weren't going to be moving on. It'll be Ryan Kelly and Silent Johnny. And in the second group for today, we have... Number 33, Lily the Dog, at 51.07 grams. Number 60, Fast Turd, 106.93 grams. Number 43, Laro, at 43.27 grams. And number 38, Rowles Racing, at 42.97 grams. These are definitely some uh, interesting racers, to say the least. I definitely recall seeing Lily the Dog here before, and it looks like they brought another canine with them to compete in this race, or this tournament rather, just like they did in the last one. And Fast Turd, despite being a little literal pile of crap, is doing really well. In fact, they're pulling away from all the other racers. That is definitely uh, not a set of words I imagine myself saying at any point in my life, but here we are. Now Fast Turd is going to take the first win without any issue. And they finish almost under 16 seconds. Definitely faster than some of the previous racers we've had in recent races. And Ryle's Racing is another Star Wars character. And they fall just shy of the finish line. Rebel Racer we had in the last video. And I didn't think we'd see another Star Wars character for a while, but here we are. That being said, they did finish in last, whereas Lily the Dog finished in second and Lero in third. And so far, no one has been able, as far as I can tell, to break Blue Line Racing's fastest time, which I believe is still 14.41. If I'm ever wrong about that, please notify me. Into race number two, Fast Herd takes an early lead, and they're gradually trying to expand it. They are sharing the lane with Laro, who's right on their tail, and here comes Lily the dog, trying to make something happen here. And it looks like they were almost able to, but so far Fast Herd is still pulling away. I cannot believe I am seeing a 3D poop emoji finishing in first in these races right now. It's definitely throwing me for a loop at the moment. But I think Laro finished in second, and then Lily in third. And little Grogu not finishing at all that time. Yeah, definitely a 16.03 is really close to breaking that 16 second line, but still hasn't quite gotten there. But Fast Turd only needs one more win to move on to today's finals. Let's see if they can do it. Yeah, they are grabbing an early lead, but Lily and Laro are staying hot on their tail. Or whatever you would call it. But Laro suddenly has a burst of speed, and now they have the lead. And Fast Herd is trying to catch them, trying to stay undefeated. And they are closing the gap. Now they're relatively even going into that turn. And Fast Herd now has the lead. But I wouldn't count Laro out here. And now Fast Herd has a decent sized lead, and they finish in third yet again, spinning wildly right before crossing the finish line. Usually it's either a half turn or even a slow turn if they go all the way around, but that was one of the fastest spins I've seen. And Grogu still isn't able to finish. I think they finished in the first race. Or no, they almost did, rather. But I don't think they finished yet. 
So far, no, but Fast Hurt is automatically moving on. So we'll definitely be seeing more of that. I would almost say that's chocolate ice cream, but that may be a cliche response to what that actually is. And they do have the lead yet again, but here comes Lero again! Something about that ramp, they're suddenly able to go a little bit faster, and now they're sharing the same lane as Fast Herd. So they may be able to stay in front of Fast Herd if they are careful. But they do skid sideways, and it looks like somebody lost a piece of their vehicle or a prop or something. Because I saw something fly off the track, and it looked like Lero was going to stop Fast Herd. But Fast Herd pulled around them at the last second. And Fast Herd is going into today's finals undefeated. It was very close, but close doesn't get the job done. It's how you finish, and Fast Herd was able to do it. And we're going to have to go back at some point and see what flew off the track. Feel free to go back and look if you wish. But for now, we're going to have to move on, which Fast Herd and Lero are able to do. And here we go into the finals for today. It'll be Ryan Kelly, Laro, Fast Herd, and Silent Johnny. Ryan Kelly was almost undefeated, and Fast Herd is. So we'll have to see how that plays out in today's finals with this group. And Laro, once again, something about that turn into that dip is causing them to gain a decent amount of speed. And they are trying to stay on top of Fast Herd here. But as they split and go different directions, looks like Fast Herd will take the lead. And I think I saw something fly off the track again. I'm not sure if it was something that belonged to Fast Herd. Maybe it's a piece of their vehicle, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to check the cameras to see exactly what it was. Maybe it's the same thing as the first time. And they're able to put it back on in between races might have been their name tag or something. I'm not entirely sure. The Fast Herd does take the first win. They will need three more races in order to stay undefeated. We have not had an undefeated racer, I don't think, in a decent amount of time. So this could definitely be an, uh, an interesting addition to that lineup, if you will. And Fast Herd does have the lead already. And Lero's trying to catch him, is almost able to do so. They're relatively even. But Fast Herd is able to edge him out, causing Lero to lose so much momentum. And now Fast Herd has a decent sized lead over everybody. So unless they spin out or something, it's gonna look pretty good for them. And they go into the last dip, no one anywhere close to them. And they finish in first yet again. And they are two races away from going into the grand finals undefeated. Meanwhile, Ryan Kelly tries to catch Lero. Almost did it, but I don't think it was enough. We'll have to check the scores, but it looked like they were just barely shy. Which is interesting, because it looked like Ryan Kelly was almost going to finish in fourth, but they did pass Silent Johnny. But they did not pass Lero. So now Ryan Kelly and Lero are tied for points, trying to fight for that second spot. Or as Fast Turn almost has it down lock. And they have the lead yet again. This is a relatively close group overall. With some slight edges given to one or two racers. But sometimes, even when they do have the lead, other racers are catching up. And Silent Johnny almost had Fast Turn there. But I don't think it'll be enough as he pulls away. And Silent Johnny's quickly falling behind. They lost a decent amount of speed, but they are still moving forward. But Fast Turn will be moving on to the Grand Finals, and that is one of the weirdest finishes I've ever seen. Because all three racers finished around the same time, but I don't think any of them were straight. It looked like Lero had it, but then he started skidding sideways, and then the other racers tried to catch him. I don't know how that's going to play out. It looked like Silent Johnny apparently got the second place. Whereas Lero got third, and I think Ryan Kelly got last. So Ryan Kelly has six, Lero has seven, 
and Silent Johnny has five. Four, five, and six, respectively. And we'll see who moves on. Alongside Fast Herd in the second, but so far Fast Herd is just one, one race away from staying undefeated. But Lero is currently blocking him, and they both lose so much speed because of it. So I don't know if Fast Herd will be able to get that win anymore. I guess Lero figured if he wasn't going to move on, he was going to stop Fast Herd from doing it. And now these two racers are able to finish, and it looks like Ryan Kelly finished in first. And Silent Johnny in second. Fast Turd in third, I believe, and Lero in last. So we're going to have to see, because of how close those points were, who will be moving on with Fast Turd. And it looks like Ryan Kelly, with that win, will be moving on alongside Fast Turd, who almost was undefeated, but not quite. Thank you all so much for watching. We have two videos left in the main part of the tournament.